Welcome to our channel. Today we will talk about an opportunity for exercises for you to practice at home. Today we will talk about 19 of the best exercises for beginners to try at home. Press up. How to do it? Get down into a press up position with your hands placed shoulder, width apart and back flat, so as a straight line forms from the, your head to heels, via your glutes. Lower your body until your chest is an inch from the ground, then explosively drive up by fully extending, extending your arms. That's on rep. Why? This move uses multiple muscle groups for maximum growth and strengthen your shoulder joints. Easily done as an exercise at home. This prepares you for progression to the more demanding shoulder exercises you'll face in a gym, like the inline bench press. Dumbbell Standing Shoulder Press How to do it? Stand holding two dumbbells at shoulder height with an overhand grip, palms facing forwards. Ensure your elbows are in front of the bar and don't flare out to the slides. Press the weights up above your head until your arms are fully extended. Return slowly to the start position. This is a safer shoulder sculptor than lifting from behind your neck. As a beginner, the aim should be to keep your strain off your joints and protect against an injury, cold shoulder impediment syndrome. Miss seasons this early in your lifting career are especially cold. Skipping. How to do it? Grab the rope at the both ends. Use your wrist to flick it around your body, jumping to clear the rope as it hits the ground. Make the move more intense with double unders, letting the rope pass round your twice every jump. Why? The ultimate nonsense workout, jumping rope could be the most efficient form of cardio. A sardi that found just 10 minutes of a day with rope was similar to 30 minutes of jog. Dumbbell squat. How to do it? Holding a dumbbell in each hand, position your legs shoulder width apart, keeping your head up and back straight. Sit back up into the squat until dumbbells are inch from the floor. Focus on keeping your knees over your toes and chest out. Don't arch your back or lean forward as you drop down. Exhale, straighten your legs and return to the starting position. Why? Squats are an excellent all-around exercise and one of the best moves for building overall strength. Dumbbells let you concentrate on technique and work on your range of movement at low weight. Only advance to barbell squats in the gym once you've got this name. Lateral rise. How to do it? Stand holding a light dumbbell in each hand. Slowly lift the dumbbells out to the side until you reach the shoulder height. No higher. And resist the argue to cheat by swinging the weight. Pause, then lower back to your sides. Slowly, you'll build more muscles fighting gravity than letting it to do the work for you. Why? If you're doing exercise at home, this is the best move for visible shoulder development. The lateral rise isolates your medial deltoid, the middle of three shoulder muscles, helping to develop your shoulder width and mass. Very good for the V shape that you. Bar piece. How to do it? From a standing position, squat down until your thighs and are parallel to the floor and place your palms on the floor. From there, kick your feet back as far as you can while keeping your arm extended. As soon as your feet land, jump them back in towards your, hand, your hands, then jump into the air. Land immediately, squat down to go into the next rep. When it comes to burning fat at home, few moves can do better than burpee. Perfect for flying fat with zero equipment. Work this into your home workout routine to ramp up your rate or set yourself daily challenge. Pilometric jumping lungs. How to do it? Lung forward until your rear knee is almost touching the ground. Jumping to the air, bringing your rear foot forward and the front foot back. 
land into a lunge and repeat. Land on both feet simulated to cushion the impact on your, on your joints. Why? Just like burpees, they are perfect for building up a cardiovascular system, but will also help you build faster, more powerful quadriceps. Ideal for your leg day has taken a Spider-Man press-up. How to do it? Get to, into a traditional press-up position. Lower your set toward the floor and bring your right knee to your right elbow, keeping it off the ground. Press back up and return your leg to the starting position. Repeat with alternate leg. leg. Why? Perfect if you are looking to get some mobility in before a workout or just want to switch up your chest routine. Spider-Man press-ups are the perfect alternative if you're looking to scale things. Bicep curl. How to do it? Stand with a dumbbell in each hand and keeping your upper arm stationary. Curl the weights until the dumbbells are a sh shoulder level. Focus on keeping your elbows still. Only your lower arm should move. Squeeze your bicep and to the top up of contraction, then lower slowly and repeat. Why? This is the perfect move for developing those mirror muscles you crave. By keeping your upper arm stationary, we hit the whole bicep for the maximum growth. Dumbbell step up. How to do it? Stand in front of bench with a dumbbell in each hand. Place your right foot into the blanch. Push up through your heel to lift your whole body. Step down with your left foot and repeat on the opposite side. Why? By activating all of your, up your upper legs muscles, glutes, quads, hamstrings, it's an entire leg day in your move. Plus, it's low impact, which it means you avoid the knee injuries associated with more explosive exercise. Plank. How to do it? Get in a press-up position, but rest on your forearms rather than your hands. Make sure your back is straight and tense your abs and glutes. Hold without allowing your hips to sag. Why? Endless crunches but pressure on your spine and when done incorrectly can give you a set of wired, distended abs. Planks are the best way for working your core in a way that keeps your injury free and builds the flat six pack you're after. Dead bug. How to do it? Lie on your back with your hands above you and feet up so your knees are at 90 degrees. Straighten your leg until your heel is an inch from the floor and then return to the start position. Repeat with the other leg. Why? By extending your legs and hovering your heels, you work on your core stabilizer not just your abs. That means you're building muscle you can use on the sports fields, not just see in the mirror. Side plank. How to do it? Lie on your left side with your legs straight and prop yourself onto your elbow. Brace your core and raise your hips until your body forms a straight line. Hold this position while breathing deeply. Roll over and repeat on the other side. Why? Excellent for targeting a small muscle in your lower back, the quadratus lumborum. Strengthening is crucial for spine health and will help you avoid the notorious beginner's back pain. Diamond cone obliquus are a bonus. Dumbbell floor press. How to do it? Lie down on the floor with a dumbbell in each hand. Bend at elbows and hold the weights above you. Press up and straighten your arms before pausing at the top of the rep and lowering slowly to the start position. Why? By restricting your, your range of movement, these moves help you build a bigger chest minus the risk of your shoulder injury from overextension. Consider this your stepping stone to being a bench bro in the gym. Bench dips. How to do it? Stand facing away from a bench. Grab it with both hands at shoulder width. 
Extend your legs out in front of you. Slowly lower your body by flexing at the elbows until your arm at forearm built a 90 degree angel. Using your triceps lift yourself back to, back to the starting position. Why? This is easy to do on a chair, stair or coffee table. It works the arm, chest and shoulders. And it is great for you if you want people to notice that you start working out as a Crunch. How to do it? Lie flat on your back with your knees bent a 90 degree angel. Place your hands on either side of your head. Push your lower back into the floor as you lift your shoulders a few inches of the floor. Make sure your lower back stays in contact with the ground at all the, all the time. Tense your abs hard at the top point of the movement. Then return under control to the start position. Why? The first part of call for any abs workout, this is a must do. By lifting your legs, you place extra weight on the stomach muscles and reduce momentum that could make this easy. Lower back curl. How to do it? Lie down flat with your arms by your sides. Slowly raise your chest upwards with your arms down. Keep your head up during the move. Once you reach the first point up, lower yourself back down. Why? People often forget the importance of back workouts, but they are vital to develop all other muscle groups. This curl is great as it works the whole back and also alleviates back pain from days at the races. How to do it? Stand up right holding the barbell, two dumbbells by your sides, or unweighted. With your toes pointing forwards, raise your heels of the floor and contract your calves. Slowly return to the starting position. Why? Isolating the calves for a workout count can benefit overall leg definition. It also helps hamstring and glute strength. Different foot positions target different muscles. Toes pointing in hits the outer head harder. Toes out works the inner head. Shadow boxing. How to do it? Adopt a fighting stance and bounce on your toes as your shadow box. Deep and wave to your heart's content. Why? This can help consolidate the rest of your workout as it benefits cardio strength, legs, core and arms. Jog on the spot between low and high intensity, punching for a hit style cardio workout. To have as many videos as possible, which enables you to have as much as knowledge about your health, starting from different nutritional recipes and different diets to different types of exercise, to have a more vital body and immunity, the stronger you are. So be a part of our channel, be an active part of it by sharing, comments or even live, with a lot of love from our Beator group.